we got a hotel in the city center. Uh, gonna go check out the center of the city tonight. So let's go. First impressions of Chengdu, not to speak badly about Zhengzhou, but I really like Chengdu so far. The streets are very clean. This area is called Tai Pu Lin. It's full of luxury brand stores and cafes and restaurants, uh, but it's a very nice environment. It's a very popular. As you can see, there's so many people here. Gotta watch so I don't walk into any of them. Apparently there's lots of beautiful girls in Chengdu and in this area there's guys that will just photograph them. Skating seems to be popular here in Chengdu. There's a lot more Western influence. Just walking here, I think people behave differently than Zhengzhou. I'm sorry, Zhengzhou, but I feel like Du is more of a more civilized place. Another very nice place to explore. This is along the river. I don't know what it's called. I'll find out, put it here. Who plays music up there in the tree? It's like uh, where all the clubs are here in Chengdu. Seems like a good atmosphere actually. Like you literally have the river on this side and then you have the clubs on this side. Another thing about this city is that the air feels very clean. As I'm breathing the air, I feel like it's way cleaner than Zhengzhou. Zhengzhou's air was dusty and you can feel it in your body after a while. Here, it just, it feels clean, like, like it is in um, Australia. They speak uh, Sichuanhua here in um, Chengdu, and I've walked past so many people, and I don't understand a word what they're saying. That's crazy how different a dialect can be from the standard Putonghua. Huh. So be prepared for that if you move to Chengdu. It's day two in Chengdu, and right now we're in Wuhotsu, which is like a garden. There is so many people here. It is insane. Probably because it's summer in China right now. And yes, there's cicadas here as well. Oh my God.
So we're here at Panda. What's this place called? Panda Central? Panda World here in Chengdu. And there's so many people already. It's Tuesday and I can see a massive queue up ahead. But to see these pandas be worth it. We got up really early, but probably not early enough. Should have got here even earlier and beat the queue. Now I guess we'll be standing in the queue for a while. After uh, yeah, let's see some pandas. This place is huge. There is like a research center. This is a laboratory here on my right. And looking at the map, it's like, let me see. It's, it's huge. So, I was wondering how they can accommodate all the people that were lining up, but maybe this place can. We're about to see some pandas. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. My life's gonna change now. The panda is eating his poop. Just lick. Licking it. It's like, is this food? So guess what? It's the damn cicadas again. I can hear them everywhere. People go crazy for pandas. Like, it is pandemonium. Like, something I've never seen. Everyone just taking pictures just to see these pandas. They are cute, though, I'll admit that. That's it for the pandas. I'm so tired, I don't know why. Probably the heat and all the people everywhere just gets to you. But um, yeah, this place is really popular. Definitely check it out if you go to Chengdu. It's the panda base. It's like 20 minutes from downtown Chengdu.